<laughs> Altered humans aren't supposed to have that much power. Boy, are you really a human? Of course I am! You underestimate the will and determination of the human spirit. You get your power from humans, yet you don't know how powerful we really are. Boy, it's much too early to talk about victory. The real battle begins now! You're still gonna lose! Spare their lives. You are mine. A gentle trophy to behold. Whatever he tells you, don't believe a word of it. But if I don't, everyone will die. What choice do I have? Why do you awaken me from my peaceful slumber? I travel to the edge of oblivion to escape the bloodshed. And yet, it seeks me out, even here. I am a being of solitude. My awakening is your death knell. You finally awakened! Overlord Xenon! Overlord Xenon? Thanks to you, I remember who I am. Ah, I see that the memories of your past life have returned. So, you should also remember me, since I lost you. Not a single day went by that I didn't think of revenge. But of course, you were much too powerful. I had no chance of beating you with a direct challenge. But then you solved the problem for me when you came here to reincarnate and escape your violent existence. I searched you out, kidnapped you, trapped you in a mansion and raised you as my own daughter. To keep you forever trapped in a life of idle insignificance. That was my revenge! The knowledge that you admired me as your own father validated my superiority. <laughs> What is this history lesson all about? Uh, what? I have no interest in your worthless quest for revenge. You nameless fool. If you have finished telling your story, go ahead and die. What? You still look down on me? All that remains is to destroy you. Then my satisfaction will be complete. 
<laughs> Overlord Denon, die! I am a being of solitude. To me, everything is an enemy. Is it over? No, you fool. You are also my enemy. I am a being of solitude. To me, everything is an enemy. Are you confused with the memories of Overlord Xenon? If you want to kill me, then go ahead. But please spare the others. Why do you not resist? I promised that I would protect you, so I will not fight you. Your nonsense shall not save you. What happened, Princess? <laughs> We're not your enemies! I am a being of solitude. You are my enemy. But you're not alone anymore. You officially made me your servant. I cannot trust in servants. Servants will betray me and die. What about us? You told me that you loved the rice balls I made for you. We're friends, aren't we? I have no friends. All I have are enemies. And what about me? Is your childhood friend your enemy too? When we were kids, we were inseparable. Everyone who has ever come close to me has betrayed me. Miss Rosalind, you helped us save my brother's life, even after he tried to kill you. Where did that kindness go, Sam? If I had my memory at the time, I would have killed him myself. Look. Not that I care if you kill them all, but doesn't being controlled by memories from a past life kind of make you a tool? What do you know about it? No one can understand my vast loneliness. You aren't alone. You have friends that care about you. And Edna. Silence! You are all enemies! Why didn't you dodge that? I promised to protect you. I'm gonna say it again. You are not alone. Enemy! I can't trust anyone! Stop talking and trust this! <laughs> 